good morning dear students today's class we will learn different types of data we can enter into ms excel worksheet so which are the different data we can enter so the different data are numbers text date and time then data in series numbers the numbers they are the they are from the enter range of numeric values all numbers we can enter we can enter decimal number into ms excel screen we can enter scientific notation also if uh, excel display scientific notation automatically if the number entered is too low let let me explain it with the help of ms excel screen then it become more clear to you see this is an ms excel screen so here in each cell we can enter different types of data so first of all suppose we are entering number see numbers we are typed then we can enter the number number with the decimal point also we can type see number with the decimal point we entered and suppose we enter number too long then what will happen too long number it is entered and as soon as you press the enter key it will display in scientific form if a number entered is too long then it will express it in scientific notation what is the meaning of this 5.43 5475 Into 10 to the power 18. ये 18 का मतलब है. E plus 18 means 10 to the power 18. So this way, scientifically, if the number entered is too long, the next cell displays it scientific form. Now suppose uh, we entered this in a scientific number, okay? And suppose we are shortening this column label. Column label को और छोटा कर दिया. Just see. Then what will happen? number gayab ho gaya in that place you can see harsh symbol so sometimes if in a cell if it is displaying harsh that mean data is there but that data won't be able to display in that particular cell because the cell width is very small column ka width very small hai so if you want to see that data then what you have to do just to widen the column level column level ko aise widen karo then you can you can see that number i think it is clear so if a uh, number entered is too short then what will happen number is too long but the column width is too short then in the place of number automatically it will display harsh symbol so to see that number you have to widen the column level see harsh symbol that means uh, column ka level column width is very small that's why number won't be able to display it over there to see the number just widen the column lay column width then you can see that number now next text text also we can enter whatever text you are entering automatically it will show there in the formula bar also uh, suppose number sometimes if you want to uh, suppose if uh, the difference between number and text is that uh, this number we can use for calculation but text we cannot do use for calculation purpose calculation we cannot be we cannot done with the help uh, if you are using text data that's a difference suppose some sometimes numeric data we want to consider it as a text data then just the left hand side of that numeric data you have to press put the uh, single apostrophe single apostrophe one then this one will consider as a text data then date and time you can enter date and time also suppose we are entering date and date suppose we are entering date you can enter date also date koi bhi form mein enter kar sakte hai mm dd y y dd mm y y any format you can enter date also then next data in series you can enter the data in series also how to enter the data in series for example suppose usko bolte fill fill range option is used for that suppose you are entering data sunday enter kiya अब संडे मंडे संडे मंडे ट्यूसडे वेनसडे का कॉम्बिनेशन चाहिए फिल डेटा फिल ऑप्शन यूज कर सकते हैं सी राइट राइट साइड में प्लस साइन यू कैन सी ना राइट बॉटम कॉर्नर में जस्ट ड्रैग इट देन व्हाट विल हैपन यू कैन सी द डेटा इन अ सीरीज संडे मंडे ट्यूसडे वेनसडे थर्सडे लाइक दिस वे यू कैन सी द डेटा सो दिस वे डेटा इन अ सीरीज आल्सो वी कैन एंडर लाइक वे लाइक दिस वे 1 2 3 आल्सो इन अ सीरीज यू कैन टाइप मंथ नेम आल्सो यू कैन And are in series. For example, January. We are typing January, and then just drag it. Then what will happen? Just to see, 
January, February, March, April, like this way, series you can see. So this is called a data in series. One, two, three series means I to kya ka one and just drag it. See one, 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 aya. one two, three, aya na. how to show it? One, two, three series means just see just a down portion, down bottom right side me. You can see one option, autofill option is there. There one uh, down arrow is there. Just click the down arrow. Then you can see one more menu. There it is given fill series. Just click fill series. See automatically series. You will get the data in series. So this way one, two, three. You can enter the data in series also. Now we will see that explanation. Now I think that explanation become uh, more clear. See numbers. We already explained this numbers text also. We already explained text data also we can enter. Date and time also we can enter. Data in series also. Fill a range of cells. Either with the same value or with a series of value we can fill. Uske liye autofill option use karte. Then next day navigating the worksheet. Navigating the worksheet means uh, we can one can advance through worksheet by rows with the vertical scroll bar by columns with the horizontal scroll bar when a thumb bar on the scroll bar is clicked and dragged a screen tip will appear alongside that bar identifying the row or column to which the view is advancing uh, not that much clear now with the ms excel screen it become more clear see you can see that worksheet usko uh, suppose you want to navigate the worksheet that means worksheet ke here and there left side to right side Top to bottom move karna hai, navigate karna hai. To uske liye scroll bar use karte hai. Two scroll bars are there. This scroll bar is called a vertical scroll bar. And this scroll bar is called a horizontal scroll bar. So, uh, what is the use of this scroll bar? Suppose, by, uh, if you want to see this uh, worksheet ko top to bottom move karna hai. That means a row. Upar ka row, fir niche ka row wise usko move karna hai. Then you can use the Vertical scroll bar, see different different row, row number it is changing, na? row wise it is changing, 53, 58, 60, 62. So, scale here, we can use this vertical scroll bar to move it vertically, that means different rows you can see. Then, when you will move, na? then one thumb tab, one thumb tab on the scroll bar is clicked, this is called a thumb tab. If you are clicking the thumb tab and then moving, then you can see automatically row number a screen tip you can see screen meant screen tip dikh raha na row 2 row 3 this uh, this uh, screen tip here it is screen tip row 2 row 3 like that it is showing na uh, so when you will uh, click the thumb tab on the horizontal scroll bar then you can see that the screen tip agar if you are using vertical scroll bar ka thumb tab use karenge to row number hoga uska screen uh, screen tip same way, suppose agar horizontal scroll bar ka thumb tip use karke, if you are scrolling, then you can see screen tip me kya hoga? Column label, it will be displaying column B, column A, like that column label it is displaying. I think this navigating, it is clear. Now, I think now with this explanation, it become more clear. Hai na? When the thumb tab on the scroll bar is clicked and dragged, Screen tip will appear alongside the bar identifying the row or column to which the view is advancing. Okay. Then next is page setup. So what is page setup? Page setup. Page layout tab mein hai page setup group. See this is called a group page setup group. A page layout tab jab click karenge then you will get the page setup group. In that page setup group, we can set the page. Before printing, suppose if you want to set the page, then we can use this page setup option. Page setup option, we can set the set kar sakte. We can set the margin, top margin, bottom margin, left, right. All that margin we can change. Orientation, landscape or portrait orientation we can change. Then size, paper ka size also we can change. Then next is saving and printing the workbook. So, for saving or printing the workbook, kya karna hoga? Microsoft Office button click karna hoga in Windows 2007. Mein. Suppose if you are using the 2010 or advanced version, then file tab hoga, usme click karna hoga. When you will click the file tab, ya yeah, on the Office button, then inside you will get so many options.
सेव आस ऑप्शन यूज करके सेव करते हैं और फॉर पेंटिंग वी कैन यूज द प्रिंट ऑप्शन आई विल शो यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ एम एस एक्सएल स्क्रीन सी पेज बिफोर प्रिंटिंग द पेज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द पेज सी पेज ले आउट टैब ये है उसको क्लिक करेंगे When you will click the page layout tab, then what will happen? Page layout को क्लिक किया, तब page setup group मिला। उस page setup group में so many options हैं। Page को set करने का सारे options हैं। For example, if you want to change the margin, you can click on the margin, custom margin चाहिए, तो custom margin में क्लिक करो। Then you can change the left to margin. If you want to increase the margin, you can increase. Right to margin, increase or decrease. Top margin, bottom margin. Header and footer, heading or footnote if you want to give, that also you can set. Then after setting, you can click the OK. Same way, orientation. Orientation change kar sakte hai, portrait or landscape, size bhi change kar sakte hai. Then, after doing all these things, suppose if you want to save it, tab kya karna hoga, file option mein click karna hoga. Windows button मिलेगा 2007 में file option में क्लिक किया save करने के लिए save या save as option use कर सकते हैं print के लिए print option भी क्या use okay then editing the MS Excel how to do the editing editing के लिए before doing for doing editing before doing editing you have to select the cell जो भी editing करना है तो पहले cell को select करना होगा how can we select the cell Suppose here so many data are there, so we edit it. Okay, so for editing you have to select the cell. Suppose if you want to do editing here, select here. If you will click the double click, then what will happen? You will get the cursor. With the help of this cursor, now you can do the editing. If you want to delete it, delete it, then you type it. So you can do this way, editing. Otherwise, just click the cell and then press the F2 key. If you are clicking F2, then also you will get the cursor. Then you can do the concern changes. Uh, suppose if you want to add something, you can add here, delete karna, to delete karke, changes kar sakte hai. So single cell, how to select a single cell? Just click it. Suppose if you want to select the entire row, puri row ko select karna hai, to kya karna hoga? Row label ko click karo, then full row it will be selected. Suppose if you want to delete the fifth row, delete karna hoga. So row label fifth ko pura select kiya, right button click kiya, delete kiya. So is the rikya se editing kar sakte hai. Suppose if you want to uh, edit the full column, full column ko delete karna hai. So kya karna hoga? Column label ko click karo. Column label means K. See, afterwards you can right click and delete option click kar sakta hai. See, this column if you want to select, uska column label mein rakhti hai mouse, automatically down aero hai ka. Then ek single click karo, then this column, full column it will uh, select. Now full worksheet if you want to select, then what to do? Whole worksheet button ko click karna. What is whole worksheet button? A combination. Row or column ka combination wala this button ko bolte hai. Whole worksheet button usko click karo. To pura worksheet select ho jayega. Now suppose if you want to select a cluster of cell. That means a group of cell ko select karna. Jo jo group of cell select karna usko click karo. Then drag karte jao. Click karke drag karke mouse move karo. Jo jo cell move ke upar move karenge usko cell select ho jayega. So this way you can select the cluster. So, selecting the worksheet to enter the data into the worksheet first, the cell has to be selected. Now, how to select already had shown how to select the cell single cell make select connectly click once in a cell and their row click the row label and their column click the column label and their worksheet key is select another whole sheet button ko select click karnava cluster of cell drag the mouse over the cell and hold down the shift key if you are selecting with the help of keyboard. Otherwise, just to drag the mouse. To uh, activate the content of a cell, you have to double click the cell. Yeah, click once and press the F2. Then, what to do, how to do the uh, editing? Just a uh, backspace key use kar sakte hai, ya pura entry ko type kar sakte hai. Agar undo karna hai, to undo option use karke bhi editing kar sakte hai. So many keyboard shortcut hai, you can use any of the keyboard shortcut also yeah you can simply retype also that way also you can do the editing i think editing it is clear now in the next class we will learn next portion thank you students